everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's me Wayne here and today we're back in the city of Las Vegas about to go on another food adventure. And the place we're going today is a local spot called Sushi 21 which is only a few minutes away from the strip and it's supposed to be very very good. I originally wanted to go to Sushi Neko but the place was completely packed so I had to look for another spot which I found Sushi 21 and apparently the reviews were good, pictures of the food looks good and I can't wait to try it out. So with that being said, let's go to Sushi 21. Well, let's go get some sushi. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. So I just came to Sushi 21. I have to say the entire place looks actually pretty nice. A little bit small, music a little bit loud, but still not too bad. The place is very vibrant, very bright, and staff is also super friendly. Anyways, with that being said, once you sit down, you'll be given a minute. You can see the menu is super large. Here's the whole front side, and there's also a back side too. So there's so many different selections of foods for you to order. Oh man, like you got appetizers, you got sushi, you got classic rolls, you got not a fish rolls, you got desserts. You got baked rolls and so much more. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have a good time. Anyways, I'm here for lunch and lunch is only $25.95, which is a very good price for an all-you-can-eat sushi. But the thing is here is that you can also get the dinner option you want, which is only $4 more. So the dinner price is $29.95 and you get to pick a few more selections. Basically, the ones in red are the dinner only portion. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do because the uh, dinner portion looks actually really nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a few of the more interesting items or the ones that look Pretty delicious and place the order. So with that being said, be right back. So food just arrived. I have to say everything looks so amazing. Like, do y'all see this whole variety that we got? Oh man, what I got was the baby octopus oyster shooter, golden spoon, a whole plate of fresh oysters. I mean, look at this gigantic plate of oysters. Oh man, we got pepper tuna sashimi, albacore sashimi, and also salmon sashimi as well. Oh man, all oh, which looks absolutely amazing. Now, the reason I ordered these first is because you can only get one per person per meal. So this is the only time you can order. So with that being said, absolutely amazing. So first things first, which one should I try out? Everything looks so amazing. Um, let's try the golden spoon. What's in the golden spoon? Let me see real fast. So the golden spoon has five kinds of fish, radish, masago, and special sauce. Oh man, that looks amazing. As you can see the golden spoon over here, there's so many amazing food items. Oh, it's good. Let's give it a bite. Mmm. Mm. Oh, wow. That is insanely fresh and clean. Literally, it feels as if the fish is, was brought out the ocean today. Oh, man. There's five kinds of fish. I'm not sure what kind of fish is inside, but all the fish is so soft, so tender. It literally falls apart in your mouth. Oh. I can definitely tell the masago in it as well. It pops and it's eating your bite. Absolutely amazing. This golden spoon is good. Anyways, next up, let's try. Let's try the oysters. The oysters look good too. As you can see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six oysters, and they look so so good. Look at these. These are good sized oysters too. Oh man. All right. What's that mean? Said. Let's give it a bite. All right. Let's loosen it up a little. Oh, actually, it's already loose. So let's take a bite. Oh, there's a little spiciness in it as well, but ooh, that oyster is so good. Just like the golden spoon, you can tell the oyster is super fresh, super clean. Has a little briny taste, kind of tastes like the ocean. Very, very nice. Best of all is that whatever sauce they put on it is so flavorful. A little bit spicy, but very, very good. Oh, definitely recommend the oysters if you come to Sushi 21. So what's that mean? So next up, let's try, uh, let's try the albacore sashimi, as you can see. This is the albacore sashimi. There's some type of, what is that white sauce? Let me look at it. Let me look at the menu real fast. So, um, it doesn't say, it's just, it's just called the Cajun albacore sashimi. It doesn't say what the white sauce is, but let's give it a try. Mmm, oh, that albacore tastes good. What kind of fish is albacore? I'm not sure, but it has a meaty texture. Very nice, soft, tender, a little bit meaty flavor, but very good. The white sauce, I don't know what it is, but it's rich in creamy sensation. It mixes well with the albacore. Not bad. I'm actually happy. Next up, let's try the salmon sashimi. As you can see, salmon looks absolutely beautiful. 
Samsimi, you know, you can't go wrong. Every sushi restaurant has salmon sashimi, and this looks absolutely amazing. A little bit on the thin side, though, but hopefully it tastes good. That's some good salmon sashimi. You don't need any sauce or anything, whatever. You don't need no wasabi, you don't need soy sauce or anything. Just the sashimi by itself is the way to go. Clean, fresh, and tastes amazing. Oh man, we even tried a few items, and so far, my experience is absolutely phenomenal. All the foods taste so, so good. So next up, um, let's try the pepper tuna sashimi. Now, just like the albacore one, it's not, it doesn't say what the sauce is, but it does look good. As you can see, there's some little, I don't know if the camera can catch it, but there's some black peppery flakes on the tu tuna. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Wow. That is straight up tuna meaty sensation. Oh. The meat itself is a little bit thick, so each and every bite you have to chew it a little bit, but still fresh, clean, and has a nice tuna taste. Oh man, this is absolutely delicious. Woo. I'm liking Sushi 21, it is good. Next up we have is the oyster shooter. As you can see, they have a whole oyster inside here. As you can see, look at this oyster. Oh man, this looks amazing. Plus they also have a lemon on the side for you to squeeze some little lemon acidity into it. We've got to squeeze it, and being as it's a shooter, let's give it a taste. Ooh. Oh wow, that is flavor overload. Ooh. I don't know what flavors are in here, it's not listed on the menu, but very, very nice. A little bit vinegary, a little bit acidic from the lemon, oyster fresh and clean like always. This is really nice, oh man. I'm really sad that you can only order one of these per person, per meal, because these are good, oh man. I would totally order more of these, they don't have a limit, but no, man. I'm excited so far. Oh, and before I forget, they also have baby octopus too, which is pretty neat. Like, look at the baby octopus. That is amazing. Oh, wow. There's some sesame seeds on this too. Oh, it looks good. Normally, I don't really eat baby octopus all that much, mainly because I was traumatized when I was little by my aunt. But I'll give it a try this time just because it looks really delicious. Mmm. Oh, wow. That is good. Octopus is so super soft, super tender. A little bit chewy at the tentacles area, but overall very nice. Plus it has a sesame seeds flavor, so it got a little nutty sensation. Very good baby octopus, oh man. I haven't had baby octopus in like 10, 15 years, but ooh, this might make me want to eat it again. That baby octopus is good. Plus they have some type of sauce or flavor on it. I don't, I don't know what it is, but very good flavor, oh. That's a good baby octopus. So finishing up round one, I decided to order more food for round two, and overall, they looked just as good as round one. So what I got was a popcorn lobster roll. Oh, that sounds amazing. Apparently there's real lobster inside. I got a seared salmon sushi, quite a few. I also got a baked lobster and also a crunch lobster roll, all of which is so amazing. The best part about it is that I love this restaurant because you can order half rolls too. So in case you know you don't want to eat a full roll, you can only order half of it, which is pretty good. But with that being said, first things first, let's try out the seared salmon. Oh man, look at the seared salmon. Look at how beautiful it is. A whole nice salmon ratio with, not, with a little bit of rice. That's what I love. So let's give it a bite. That is so good. Seared salmon itself, literally super soft, super tender. Has a little bit of a toasted sensation because they seared it. Very, very nice. Rice itself made well, a little bit of vinegary, nicely held together overall. Very good combination. So next up, let's try the popcorn lobster. Let me see what it is. So basically the popcorn lobster is, um, it's crab cucumber with deep fried lobster. Oh, so that's what it is, okay. Eel and spicy mayo sauce and yum yum sauce. Oh man, so apparently the crunchy bits are is, is deep fried lobster. So this is deep fried lobster. That is amazing. Let's give it a try. Not bad. Not bad at all. Insanely crispy and crunchy on the outside. Inside there's very little lobster meat, but still it is lobster and it tastes amazing. Super soft, super tender. Absolutely worth it. Oh man. Mmm. But let's try the roll itself because the roll looks really good. And when you get a half roll, it's only four rolls. And you can see it looks so amazing. So inside there's apparently crab and cucumber. Oh, that looks good. Let's give it a bite. Mmm. Thank you. 
thickening. Anyways, back to what I was saying. The popcorn lobster tastes absolutely amazing. Inside is crab and cucumber, and crab is super soft, super fresh, a little bit stringy as well, but very, very good. But it's all about that lobster, that deep fried lobster. It tastes absolutely amazing. Mm. Mm. So far, very good experience. Next up, let's try, I don't know what, is this the baked lobster or the crunchy lobster? Because I got crunchy lobster and baked lobster, but I don't see any crunch on it. I'm assuming it's a crunchy lobster because I think she, that's what she's pointing at. So let's get a little half as you can see. You got real lobster bits on the side and a sushi roll. Oh, it looks so good. Let's give it a bite. Mm. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Lobster itself, nice and warm. This is a baked roll, by the way, so it's all warm. So it's heated up, very soft, very tender, literally fresh and clean. It's a burst of seafood flavor. Oh man. What is in the roll, by the way? So for the crunch lobster, it's, wait, is this crunch? Okay, yeah, it is a crunch lobster. Okay, so inside is shrimp tempura, cucumber, and avocado topped with baked lobster salad, all of which looks absolutely amazing. The shrimp tempura, to be honest, I don't really taste the shrimp tempura all that much. Because, I don't know, because all I really taste is the lobster salad on top, but either way, this is amazing. Oh, highly recommend. If you guys are ever in Vegas and visit Sushi 21, definitely get the crunchy lobster or is it the baked lobster? I'm not sure, but probably crunchy lobster. Definitely try it out. Next up, let's try the baked lobster. As you can see, this one right here. Oh no, so that was the baked lobster. This is the crunchy lobster, because I see the shrimp tempura over here, okay. I was looking for the shrimp, because I think I couldn't feel it in the baked one, but either way, this looks good. Let's give it a try. Mmm. That's nice. So the crunchy lobster, as you know, it has shrimp tempura, so you got a nice trippy taste with a crispy and crunchy exterior that tastes absolutely amazing. You also got the lobster topping on top, which gives it an extra lobster sensation. Oh, this is so, so good. And before I forget, we also got sweet shrimp as well, and they look so, so good. Like, look at the sweet shrimp. Look at how long the sweet shrimp is. Oh, man, this looks beautiful. I haven't had sweet shrimp in so, so long. It's one of my all-time favorites. Let's give it a bite. So, so good. Mm. Sweet shrimp, it's all about that shrimpy flavor. Super soft, super tender. Almost feel like shrimp jello. It is that soft and it has a nice sweet sensation, sweet seafoody taste. Very, very good. Oh man, I'm actually really enjoying my experience here. So far, all the food I tried, absolutely phenomenal. So, for my next order, I decided to order a little bit more sushi and nigiri. So, what I got was the salmon roll sushi, all which looks so good. I got uni, oh yes, they have uni, and it's limited one per person, so it's looking absolutely amazing. I got surf clam sushi and also giant clam sushi as well. I haven't heard of giant clam sushi before, but it all looks interesting. So with that being said, let's try the giant clam sushi first, because I'm mostly intrigued by this. Like, look at how big the giant clam is. Is this really how big a clam is? Oh wow, let's try it out. Hmm. Don't know if I like that. The giant clam is a little bit on the crunchy side. I don't know. Is this supposed to be crunchy? I never had giant clam before, so I have no idea how it tastes. But trying this, it's like, I thought it was going to be soft and tender, but this is very, very crunchy. Oh, man. I think I'll put a pass on that. I'm not really a fan of that. Next up, let's try the surf clam. As you can see, we got surf clam over here. It looks nice, little reddish color. I never had surf clam either. I don't even know what kind of clam it is, but it looks pretty cool. Hopefully, it's not crunchy like the giant clam. Let's try it out. Oh, mmm, oh wow, mmm, oh wow, that surf clam is amazing. Unlike the giant clam, the surf clam is super soft, super tender, has a nice seafoody taste, very fresh and clean, absolutely amazing, tastes exactly like clam. Oh, this is pretty good. Next up on the menu that we have is uni. As you can see, uni is a very expensive item. If you go to any store or the restaurant, they'll literally charge high, high prices for uni. And over here, you can get it at this all-you-can-eat buffet, although it's not all-you-can-eat. It's limit one per person. So I think they, for one person, they give you two pieces because we have three people with me, and there's six pieces of uni. Overall, not too bad, I can see. Looks absolutely beautiful, right? Let's give it a try. Mm. Oh, that is good. Like, how do I even describe uni? It's like, it has a very interesting taste. It's kind of unique, but very rich and creamy, very soft and luscious. 
absolutely amazing. Tastes exactly like the ocean. Very, very fresh. I, I really like the uni. I just, it's hard to describe, but it tastes good. And with that being said, the other items are not really that important. They're common. I don't know if you can find anywhere. Salmon roll, crab, sushi, stuff like that. So I'm not really going to explain those. But overall, I have to say, so far, my experience at Sushi 21, absolutely amazing. Didn't like the giant clam, but everything else, not that bad. Oh man, after eating all that food, I am absolutely stuffed. Now, the only thing I will have to say is that, you know, if you dine at this all you can eat sushi place, you have a time limit of one hour and a half. So try to make it count. Either way, that was a lot of food and I am so, so stuffed. But with that being said, I still managed to save room for dessert. And for dessert, they have quite a few different options. They got mochi ice cream, they got ice cream, they got deep fried Oreo, and also tempura ice cream. Always sounds amazing, but I think I'm gonna get the tempura ice cream just because it seemed the most interesting. So with that being said, I'm gonna place the order and be right back. So my tempura ice cream just arrived. I have to say, oh my lord, look at this tempura ice cream. Look at how amazing it looks. This gigantic ball of tempura ice cream fried to perfection. You got the whipped cream on the side, some sprinkles, and chocolate sauce drizzle all over. Oh, oh, which looks so delicious. So with that being said, let's just go on in. Let's get a little bit of everything, get some green tea ice cream, get some chocolate sauce. Thank you very much. Green tea ice cream, chocolate sauce, get some whipped cream in. Let's give it a bite. Mm. Oh, that is good. Oh my lord. Green tea ice cream, you know, I have to say, it's green tea, nothing too special there. It, it, it's, it's soft, it's creamy, tastes like green tea, nice flavor. But the key here is definitely that tempura batting. Oh my god. That tempura batting is so amazing. Lightly crispy, lightly flaky, gives a perfect crunch with the green tea. It's warm on the outside, cold on the inside. Perfect combination. Plus you got the chocolate flavor and chocolate sauce drizzle, nice chocolatey flavor, and that whipped cream gives a nice creamy sensation. Absolutely phenomenal. This is the best way to end the meal. Oh man, I'm a happy camper. Oh man, Sushi 21 was absolutely amazing. Overall, my experience at Sushi 21 was absolutely fantastic. You know, they're cheap and affordable, only around 25 to $30 for the all you can eat sushi buffet. And the quality is so, so good. I mean, did y'all look at all the oysters that we got? The sushi and everything, everything just tastes so, so good. I would definitely come back to Sushi 21. It's not as popular as, you know, Sushi Neko or some other places, but it still offers very good food, cheap and affordable and it's absolutely worth it. If you guys are ever in the city of Las Vegas or are looking for a cheap and affordable sushi buffet to visit, highly recommend Sushi 21. It's only 10 minutes from the strip and definitely worth the visit. So with that being said, that's basically the video. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I had a lot of fun filming this. If you want to see more content like this, please be sure to like, comment, and share this video with all your friends and family. And also, if you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel because you know, I'm a small YouTuber. Any support does go a long way. And that's basically it. So I'll see you later.